The, the list is going to consist of players who I think can actually level up in their performance. Mm -hmm. okay. So doesn't mean that they played horribly last conference by proof of a couple guys. Yeah. Um, you know, I love to see guys just leveling up and, mm -hmm. and, and being able to, to play consistently. So these guys, I feel, have that room and I think they will. When I saw the list of uh, Coach Jeffrey Karyasi, mm -hmm. I was like, wow, this is a good list that he has. <laughs> so we're going to start off. Let's okay. start off. With the first player uh, that Coach uh, Jeffrey sure. Carriasso chose. Okay, Coach Jeff. First one on your list, Brandon Ganuela Strasser of the NLEX Road Warriors, who, by the way, played uh, yesterday. They right. got their first win. Right. Why is he on this list, first and foremost? Well, think about it. Um, BGR, he played 31 minutes yesterday, mm -hmm. 21 points, um, five rebounds, three blocks. Yeah. So what impressed me the most is um, he he was his plus minus was 17 points yeah. and mm. us yeah, as coaches we look at that and that's plus 17 whenever he's on a court yeah. right play 31 minutes mm. so that's another factor when you play minutes and you're given the opportunity your confidence goes you know uh, through the roof and i think that's going to continue with with brandon i think he's gonna he's gonna get more acclimated with his new team yeah. okay. i think he's getting used to the system with his new coach and he's only going to get better and the sky's the limit for him. So I see him yeah. with this continuous 31 minutes, he's going to get better. I guess what's one thing that you already see happening maybe in the next few games for this big guy? Well, just him, just, you know, have, because he's playing, he's one of the, he's probably one of the biggest guys on their team. Mm -hmm. mm. And, you know, you know, we, we know that there's a shortage in, in big guys. There's not a lot in every team. So he, he's one of the big guys on their team. Yeah. Um, you know, I think Kenyan's hurt, uh, Miranda's there. But aside from him and the import, they're the biggest guys on the team. So yeah. again, he's going to play. You're going to see, again, him just, just displaying what he does well, running the floor, shooting, you know, from the outside. Um, he's going to improve his, his post-up game. Yeah. And more importantly, defensively. Mm -hmm. I, I think he could get better there. And when he does, that's that next level for him. And there's a reason why he was a top pick, right, in their draft Number class. one pick, yeah. Yep. That's number one. Okay, right. next, let's go to the next one on the list. Uh, this one, some may say he can be this, was the steal of the draft during his draft class. Mm -hmm. And we didn't know, we didn't think that he would actually start right, right. off the bat for Coach Topex. But Tyler right. Tio proved to be a star for Phoenix already, manning right. the point guard duties, Coach. Right. So, again, you know, a lot of people say he fell under the radar a little bit, you know, during the draft and even in college, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, but for sure, without question, he is, he is above that now. Yeah. Everyone knows him. Everyone um, knows what he can bring. Yeah. So why I have Tyler there is because I'm, I'm happy for this kid. Aside from him being such a great player or a good player at this point and a solid player, mm -hmm. he is really embracing that point guard and leading the team and, and really understanding slowly what it takes to be that lead guy, that lead point guard, yeah. that every team needs. And again, for you to start, you played 39 minutes in his first game, yeah. scored 16 points. Um, you know, they, they lost that game, mm -hmm. but at the same time, that, just that opportunity will again enhance his level, make him a better player. And why again I put him on the list is we know he could shoot. Yeah. Mm. We know he could finish, you know, in fast breaks, he's real shifty, but he's, you know, from what I see, he's improving his in-between game. Yeah. Floaters, um, pull-ups, um, you know, all, all difficult shots. So once he, he has all that in his repertoire, then, you know, he's going to be unstoppable. So I'm happy for him. All right, very exciting times right now. Okay, <laughs> let's jump into the third sure. pick, solid wingman for the TNT yeah. squad, JD Tungkab. Coach. Right. So Tungkab, I, I think what I like about him and what Talking Text has done with this, with this young kid is they've slowly you know, allowed him to get used to how it is to play in a PBA. So they're slowly bringing him along. Yeah. So hasn't played a lot, um, you know, but we know he has a potential. I have him on his list because he only played 13 minutes that game, but yeah. for him, his first game, but that 13 minutes, he scored nine points, got a couple steals, a couple rebounds, and he was, um, he didn't hurt you. Yeah. So I really think if you can guarantee a young kid like this, 13 minutes, mm. his confidence goes, you know, again, above the roof and he's only going to get better. Yep. Um, you know, he's got a lot of vets in, in, his, in his corner. Yeah. Guys who are guiding him and talking to him, making him, you know, comfortable. And, and I always see Ryan Ray is talking to him almost every game and, and, and giving him tips. Yeah. 
So again, I think this is his breakout conference mm -hmm. mm. because he's going to play a little bit more and he's yep. going to show you something that, you know, Tonga Tech saw. Mm. That's why they chose him. And we're looking forward to see him improve gradually as the season or right. conference progresses right. for right. TNT. Next uh, on the list, you chose Arvin Tolentino. You know, this guy was actually doing relatively well in his former team, got yeah. shaded to <laughs> Northport, but how do you see him right. expanding his role moving forward? Right. That, that's great how you put it, expanding your role because again, that's what's gonna, that's what he needs to do to again mm -hmm. be, you know, that next level for his next team. Arvin capable of hitting the big shots. Yeah. Arvin proved to us, you know, again, that's why he never fans love him, that, you know, when he's in there, only good things happen. Mm -hmm. Now, are there parts of his game that he can improve on? Of course, everybody does. But this move to Northport and him, him having the opportunity and for right now, without Bolik, without Arwin, yeah. he's going to be one of the main guys. Yeah. So um, my challenge to him is being able just to play at that level consistently. You know, he, 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 I think he's gotten used to playing at a, at the, uh, at a high level, but in spurts. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to kind of have to extend that a little bit and then showcase that he can play at a, at a top level for 30 minutes, mm -hmm. perform, and then play both ends. Yeah. He already rebounds well. So again, my challenge to him, defend better, and then you're going to see a, a breakout player mm -hmm. even better. I hope these guys are taking down notes. I know, I know. They better, they better. They're but learning okay. from the Jet themselves. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, okay, last but not the le uh, not least, uh, this guy brought the house down in Game oh, 7 yeah, of the definitely. Commissioner Cup, um, Jamie Malonzo. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, we all know Jamie is already a stud. And... He's on his way to being a very elite player for a long time in our league. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him because, again, one thing I like to, to say is, you know, he's such a good kid. Like, like really humble and, you know, when, when I see him all the time, he, he's, you know, we talk basketball, we talk about the world, but he's, he's very humble in his approach. So character-wise, he's already got yeah. it. But at the same time, he's an awesome player. And... I see him again jumping to another level as again he gets more games under his belt. The only thing that's preventing him from being or being or classifying him as an elite player at this point is really to me just a lack of games. Mm -hmm. Just a lack of games. But aside from that, he's already on his way. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a stud. He, he's such a big he was, he was such a big part in their championship run. Mm -hmm. Um, he's played under the big lights, the big crowd, you know, and, and he's embraced that and he's proven. He's proven that he can be effective. And I foresee him, again, building on that confidence that yeah. Coach Tim has given him, building on that confidence that his whole team has given him. I'm learning from the vets that are already there. So imagine learning from the best coach. I mean, he's got everything. So yeah. soon he's going he's gonna to be that elite. But again, you know, I'm excited for that next level for him.